Hi, welcome to CNC Modeler. This is the latest episode in the Brady Machine. If you like the video, please do so and subscribe to the channel for more details. Hi, this is Barry from CNC Modeler. Glad you could come along and uh, see the next installment of the Brady Machine. As you can see, I've got a load more bobbins fitted. You can see those going round. So uh, that all seems to be working quite well and I've installed the uh, drivetrain. Um, so I've got a distri distributed drivetrain to um, uh, reduce the load mainly in this area which is where the original drivetrain uh, was coming in just to uh, try and make sure I don't shear any teeth off on the gears. So uh, I'll uh, just show you how that all went together. So just a couple of quick shots of the uh, parts printing, so there's the gears and some other bits and bobs. And uh, this is the uh, main drive sprocket. So there you go, several parts on the table here, uh, a couple of gears, bearings, etc. Uh, this is the main drive gear, this is effectively a bike sprocket. And just um, scale up to the right size that I wanted. Uh, print went out quite nicely. And you've got the uh, drive gears. You can see the hex uh, that engages with the nuts on the drive shaft to uh, transfer the torque through. And you've got a couple of bearing holders. Uh, they just go together uh, like that. Uh, that gives you two bearings deep to give you some uh, uh, torsional load on the bearings. Uh, so they press in like that, snug fit. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then uh, the shaft, as you can see, the bearings go on the end of the shaft. Um, there's enough room on that shaft for two, there's, but there's quite a lot of um, uh, just bob bobbles of uh, plastic on there from where the printer heads be moving to different parts. So we'll just clean those off quickly. Uh, as you can see, I can do the video, I'll do it with a file here. Um, I'll just quickly skim through. So there you go, and I uh, do something similar with the bearing holders, just really just to clean out any little lump, lumps and bumps uh, in there. So we do that for both of those, and there you go, nicely cleaned out. So now uh, I press these bearings in uh, with a vise. You can just about get them in with your thumb, but if you don't get them on straight, they can really, really be a pain to get back out again. So I just tend to uh, just line them up, basically with a gentle push, just to get them in uh, started, and then oh, then just uh, get the uh, the vice and uh, push it in with the vice. And that means it goes in nice and square, and everything's uh, lined up properly. So uh, there you go. I've done that with the first one, and then get that out of the way. And then we'll uh, that's going nice and flush, it runs nicely. And then we'll just do that with the second one again. Just pop it in the vise, press it in, and uh, there you go. Properly done. Get the vise out of the way, and uh, now let's have a look at how this all stacks up. So uh, you get the uh, two bearing holders, and uh, the bottom bearing holder's got an extra hole just to help secure it back to the, the uh, support structure of the Brady machine. Uh, and then we get the uh, shaft. Uh, now this should just push through, but um, to be honest, it didn't. Uh, what I should have done is uh, what I normally do, which isn't with the file, what I actually do is put it in the drill chuck on a bolt and spin it up and uh, use the file that way and it gets a lot better finish. Um, so uh, there you go, as you can see the run out on my chuck isn't great. So carrying on with the assembly, um, i just uh, stack this up for you. So uh, two bearings go on the shaft. Uh, if the shaft had gone through, uh, this little cap would have gone on the end and located on a square peg on the end of the shaft. And then uh, on 
underneath uh, the far end of the long part of the shaft uh, goes the drive uh, cog which meshes into the machine and then you've got the uh, sprocket uh, that sits on the other end all mounted on an 8mm shaft um, now the sprocket was uh, a little bit tight on the chain so uh, all I did was um, again stuck it in the drill chuck on the bolt and just ran the file over the edges and that made all the difference and it now runs in the bike chain that I've got really really well okay so you've seen how all that went together we'll now see it on the back of the machine um, so if I lift it around there you go you can see the uh, the gears mounted on the uh, back of the machine uh, each of those drives one of the corners and distributes the power into the gears. If I just uh, there you go, drivetrain fitted, extra bobbins fitted. You might notice the uh, red rear bobbin mount uh, so uh, we're getting on with that as well that's the topic for the next video so see you soon thanks for uh, watching if you like the video you know what to do and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to find out when the uh, bobbin the rear bobbin video is released okay so thanks for watching see you next time cheers